I must confess I've been seeing a lot about the Illuminati on YouTube of late and they always talk about the Luciferian religions Lucifer this, Lucifer that they see Lucifer as the bringer of light and the Bible says that Lucifer appears as an angel of light so obviously in terms of perception we are quite right to say that Lucifer is an angel of light or a bringer of light he sure appears that way and I was wondering like why on earth would people keep wanting to deal with Lucifer it sounds a bit too far-fetched why do they say this person and that person prominent business people prominent entertainers make a deal with the devil they sell their soul to the devil they worship Lucifer etc etc it sounds a bit far-fetched why do they keep hammering on about this again and again and then I remember the temptation of Christ when the devil came to Jesus and said if you will bow down to me I will give you all the kingdoms of the world and in the end that is what these people that are supposedly Luciferians are looking for they are looking to rule and dominate the world they are looking to in the case of entertainers to become the most popular person the most famous person in the world it's all about world domination militarily entertainment financially world domination so did they make a deal with the devil are they following lucifer it is not that far-fetched jesus answered lucifer and said you will only worship yahweh your god him alone will you serve that's what that's Jesus answer and I thought about that and who's to say that the devil did not bring this question to other people you know the devil saw that Jesus was someone prominent up-and-coming someone important and posed this question to him who's to say that the devil did not ask other people this same question and who's to say they did not say yes I'll bow down to you and you give me the world if you look online you'll find enough of people who are who are, who are supposedly supposed to have said that and there are people who have admitted saying that like uh, just one person that I've seen make this confession is Bob Dylan I said I made a deal, a deal with the devil and he has a song that says uh, you got to serve somebody you either serve the Lord or you serve the devil but you got to serve somebody I mean that's his lyric <laughs> so why not now the thing about the devil's questions is that he brings to you challenges to prove yourself for things that you already are he said to Jesus if you are the son of God take these stones and make them into bread but Jesus is the son of God whether or not he turns the stones into bread the devil said you jump off this the roof of this temple and the angels will catch you if you are the son of God but the thing is Jesus is the son of God whether or not he jumps off the roof so the devil brings questions to you and to me and he says if you do this I will give this to you but the things that he's asking always wanting to give to us are things that we actually actually already have one big deal of the Luciferians is that they say that God was keeping knowledge away from Adam and Eve because he gave them a choice you either take the fruit from the tree of knowledge or the fruit from the tree of life but it's actually a misinterpretation because it is not the tree of knowledge it is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil versus the tree of life if you ask me what is life life is the knowledge of good everything good abundance health peace happiness joy even finances money feeling good that is the knowledge of good life is the knowledge of good the tree of life is the tree of the knowledge of good versus the other tree which is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil so the devil came to Adam and Eve the firstborn of God's creation 
and said to them, If you eat this fruit which God told you not to eat, you will become like God. The fact is, according to this narrative, there is no one more like God, no human more like God than Adam and Eve because they were the first to be made in the image of God before any creation. That means Adam and Eve, according to this narrative, are more like God than you or me. Yet the devil came and told them that God has God is keeping something from you and if you eat this tree, eat this fruit from this tree where you will know not only good but you will know evil as well. You will experience it because that word is about experience. That knowledge is the word which involves experience. It's not just about knowing something intellectually. It's experiencing it. It's like really eating it. Do you know Kobe beef? I know that Kobe beef comes from certain cows, cattle that are served beer and they are massaged. But that's intellectual knowledge. You don't know Kobe beef until you've eaten it. And so the devil offered to Adam and Eve and he said that if you eat this fruit that God told you not to eat, you will experience good and you will experience evil and you will become like God. When the fact is that they already were like God and had no experience of evil, no joy, no sorrow, no pain, no suffering. But well, they chose to eat it anyway. That's the mystery, isn't it? They chose to eat it anyway. The Bible says that Eve was deceived, but Adam was not deceived. Perhaps Eve was deceived, but Adam saw that his wife had gone and decided to follow her. So if you're like a Disney romantic, you'll probably find that romantic. But it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. When the devil comes to you and he gives you an offer, listen carefully and ask yourself whether the thing he offers is something that you already have, is someone that you already are, because that's how the devil's tricks are. He offers you something that you already are. In exchange for doing something that you have not done. Some transgression that you have not done. He says, if you do this wrong thing, I will give you this thing. And this thing that he offers is something that you already have. Someone you already are. Let it go. Let it go.